Hey guys, Silence Deal here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Masters with me. So this time now, we're gonna check out the brand new scout belonging to Caitlyn and her Uniclus. And hopefully she is of some use to us at this point of time. Oh, I've got someone who's gonna give me an item. Oh, there it is. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Alright, so let's dive into the scout store. And right off the bat, we get to see her scout. And of course, Brandon is still around, and that's pretty much it. Alright, so let's take a look at Caitlyn and her Reuniclus to see how well she will fit into our collection, whether she is very useful or meh. Alright, so let's max level up her Reuniclus first. Looking at it, um, it's got pretty decent, you know, attack stats and defense stats, not the lowest we've seen. Um, of course, Harinukas is focusing on special attack, which is what most of the psychic Pokemon are like. Um, almost no defense, so she Harinukas is pretty much paper thin, kind of. Um, unless you know it's powered up by uh, effects that boost the defense stat or the special defense stat. I'm um, using um, you know um, probably Chikorita or maybe Luna Stone. Yeah. So let's take a look at her attack powers, or rather her Uranuclus attack powers. Psychic uses the special attack, does 60, 100% accuracy, not too bad. Uh, Psychic does have a very small chance of lowering the target's special defense, which is pretty okay. 118 power, 100% accuracy, with 3 energy cost, that's okay as well. Ooh, hidden power, kind of hefty on the energy cost usage, but I guess with that all in mine, I guess her Uniclus does do quite a bit of heavy hitting. Alright, so let's take a look at Ka Caitlyn's uh, abilities to help out. Move gauge boost, increase the user's move gauge by 3. So she is an offensive trainer, at the same time she has her own capabilities of regenerating the energy gauge just to do up more damage quickly, I suppose. Or maybe even to help out the other team members who are doing the same kind of hard hitting but uses a lot of gauge bars as well. Don't bother me? Oh, don't bore me, sorry. <laughs> Sharply raises the user's special attack, raises the user's defense and special. Wow! Her own ability helps boost her Reuniclus's defense and special defense. This actually makes her very very useful as an offensive user oh my goodness okay let's take a look at the passive skill Let, uh, the passive skill will determine how useful she is uh, antitoxin so I guess she prevents herself from getting poison and badly poison as the effect says here flame proof prevents Pokemon from getting burned escape artist prevents the Pokemon from being trapped ha huh. So if you guys don't know, being trapped means that you can't switch out your Pokemon. So if it's a tag team battle with two other opponents online, this becomes very useful because um, unlike where you have your own team of three fighting a computer, you know, it's, you, you don't really switch out your Pokemon. So Escape Artist isn't useful in that sense, but when it comes to online battles with two other um, human players this is a very very useful skill so with that said in total Caitlyn and Harunicus is a must have huh so she she basically replaces um, Tate if you guys don't know who Tate is Tate is the twin brother of uh, Liza which I've been promoting for a very long time so let's change the strike. Here we go. So Tate is pretty much an offensive psychic user. Um, he's pretty easy to get. So if you guys don't have Caitlyn, I guess uh, he, he is a very good replacement for her. Alright, so I'm going to do a 10 trainer pool out of this because I definitely want Caitlyn in my collection right now. She is definitely worth all the gems that you can uh, you know, sacrifice in terms for this gacha. Uh, if we do get Brandon, uh, Brandon should be there. Yeah, he's in there. Uh, Brandon is inside the list. Uh, Caitlyn is the first of the trainers to be added into this entire list of which existed previously before any 
a new implementation is added. So Caitlyn is the first of the brand new trainers added to uh, Scout. Um, so yeah, very excited. Hopefully we do get her. Let's do this guys. One single 10 trainer pull. I don't know. This is getting to become a bit nerve-wracking. So here we go. Alright, so hopefully we do get her. Slotting in the polyphone. Hopefully we get lots of bright light from the Pokemon Center door when it blinks open. There we go, there we go. And decent lighting for the shot. Okay, some repeats there. Repeat. More repeats. Lots of. Oh! So we've repeated enough to get a power up, so that's I, I guess that's okay. It helps level up some of the other trainers. Oh, my Lisa is leveling up nicely. Still one of the most useful common trainers, I suppose. There we go. Oh, I finally have him. <laughs> one of the most useful water Pokemon trainers out there, uh, alongside with fighting. So yeah, he's a dual element uh, type. So that's okay. I don't know. I'm. I. I feel like I should go for another round because Caitlyn is very useful in the sense that she's a psychic user, and we don't really have a lot of psychic offensive trainers out there. So yeah, let's go for another round. Slotting his phone. Oh, what was that? <gasps> it's a rainbow. Oh my goodness, is this the first time I've seen this animation? Does this guarantee us? Wow! There we go, so I'm looking forward to see what 5-star trainer we get, hopefully in the lane. Agatha? Okay, I don't think I have Agatha. Alright! Oh, I get Hilda, but we all know how she is. She's, she's not that fantastic, but uh, she she looks like a very nice trainer to have, though. <laughs> okay, here we go. We have the decent psychic attacker. Oh, all right, Koga's daughter. I don't really remember her name. Okay, so where's my level five? Oh, was it Hilda? Ah, oh, so Hilda was the trainer that I got, and it's not Caitlyn. Okay, okay, I do have enough for one more round. Uh, that's gonna be it. Uh, if you're wondering how do I, I have so many gems? Well, if you've been playing Pokemon Masters continuously, even though with all the setbacks that this game has. Uh, Dana has been pretty generous and with all the bug, fix bug fixes and all the gems given to us, you know, like all the daily stuff as well. So, yeah. Alright, so let's do one last pull. That's all I can muster for 10 trainer pulls. There we go. Oh. Oh, not a very impressive polyphone display. Whoa, double also. Okay, so what doubles? Oh. I don't think I have you. I don't think I have you either. There we go. Alright, so... Nothing impressive here, but we do get new trainers added to this collection. Ah, oh, Caitlyn, why are you so hard to obtain? Oh goodness gracious me. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much on my end for pulling this gacha. We do have quite a bit of points added to this, but it's kind of a waste because it's so hard to reach that 400 scout points to get a guaranteed 5 star trainer. Uh, that's a lot of money though. So like, we, we pulled 3 rounds of 10 and they, 
each one gave us 30 points to get 400 that's really a lot of money so <laughs> anyway guys uh thank you guys so much for huh, i could i could do this it's, it's just hundred maybe should i i don't know i mean i could save up 400 more to get another 10 full hmm nah Anyways, hopefully you guys had way better luck than I did as usual. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about Caitlyn uh, and her Reuniclus. Uh, and of course, let me know how did you do in your own personal pools. Leave a like to this video if you appreciate all the content. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next Pokemon Master Scout video. Until then, bye!